And now, your local weather authority forecast. Skies remain mostly clear of clouds and temperatures remain slightly above normal, but in the coming days, more clouds and lower temperatures will eventually be in store. This is the pleasantly good live look at the tall city early on your Wednesday morning. Still dark out there under night vision. We're seeing the black and white colors before that sunrise. City lights not really highlighting that much the wave in clouds. Satellite and radar showing that frontal boundary forming courtesy of a high pressure system. The four corners kind of being suppressed with clouds and rain showers in the panhandle of Texas, moving a little bit farther south from the central plains as well, closer into the basin, but not producing much the way of any organized clouds, let alone any rain activity in the basin right now. Very clear skies right now. That will likely remain the big story. However, that high pressure system again, north and west of us, will funnel in that clockwise flow of clouds north of us into the basin. It'll be heating up, but just not as hot for some this afternoon. We got ways to go in the tall city, 79, 76 there in Big Spring. The cool spot in the basin right now, Marfa sitting at 60, low to mid 60s from Marfa to Alpine, sitting at 66 officially right now in the city of Alpine. A little bit warmer there in Presidio. That is the warm spot in the basin at 81 degrees. Generally in the 60s, 70s, and low 80s, Mid to upper 50s in the higher terrain in the Davis Mountains, heating up in the high 90s and triple digits. Mid to upper 90s from Marfa to Alpine, upper 90s, lower triple digits from Midland and Odessa. Yesterday, we snuck in at 100. Today, I think we'll also sneak in right around the 100 degree mark. Mostly sunny and seasonably hot. Make sure you guys stay hydrated. Also, have the sunglasses. It will be a sunny day. Winds picking up from the south southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour, funneling in the seasonally hot air, but also the low level moisture from the east, undercutting that high pressure system. South south Ishley winds picking up at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Then the stronger winds, those blue and yellow colors, funneling into the Trans Pecos, especially in the Rio Grande and places like. Marfa Alpine down to places like the Big Bend region. Make sure you guys hold on to your hats if you have them. It will be a bit of a breezy day. Winds gusting close to 30 miles per hour from time to time. Mostly clear skies overnight. In the 70s, a bit of a cooler night because of radiational cooling taking into effect. Clear skies, lighter winds, and drier air. Winds lightening up from the south southeast right around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chances for rain remain very low. That high pressure system again funneling in those clouds from the north into the south, but generally very thin cloud coverage this afternoon, this evening. Tonight, tomorrow morning, we start to see more clouds develop in eastern areas of the basin. Something to keep in mind. It will be a little more cloudy tomorrow and as a result, a little bit less hot. In the mid upper 90s, 99 tomorrow as south south easterly winds picking up, providing slightly more humid air than today. Today, that will be the trend moving forward. Today will be very sunny and hot, but tomorrow and Friday, more clouds and seasonally very warm. As we head to the weekend, more sunshine returns, still very warm, and then heating up and becoming even more breezy by next week.